Hey guys, it's Libby, and I am pleased to announce that this winter I will be hosting the Brickathon. No, it is not a readathon where we read bricks or where we listen to audiobooks while building brick walls or anything like that. I am using the term brick to refer to a really big honkin' book. Because the Brickathon is different than most readathons in that there is only one challenge and you only read one book but that book has to be over 700 pages. Don't worry, we're gonna do this early in the year, so if this gets you behind on your Goodreads reading goal, you will have the rest of the year to make it up. This readathon is running from Sunday, January 31st to uh, Saturday, February 6th. I figure we'll start and end on a weekend day so that we can start strong, finish strong, and then hopefully just ignore everything that happens in the middle. Now, you may be asking, Libby, is this all just a ploy to force yourself to read Michelle Faber's The Crimson Petal in the White? Maybe. No, it is absolutely unacceptable that I have not finished this given how long I've owned it and how many times I have started it. I need the shame of publicly failing at a readathon in order to motivate me to read this. And maybe you would also like to read this epic tome about prostitutes in Victorian London, but if you don't, and you don't already have a 700 plus page book that you want to read, here are some suggestions. Epic fantasy, of course, has you covered. I don't read epic fantasy, so I'm just holding up this copy of The Hobbit, which is not 700 pages, but imagine it's one of J.R.R. Tolkien, I can't say it, J.R.R. Tolkien's other books, uh, Cimmerillion, I'm pretty sure most editions are over 700 pages, and I don't know if you can get a bind up of all three books of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, because that would definitely be over 700 pages, but if you want to read that in a week, oh my god. And I suspect that there are editions of the individual Lord of the Rings novels that are over 700 pages. If you want to cheat, look for mass market paperbacks. You could also try some historical fiction like the autobiography of Henry VIII with notes by his fool Will Summers, which is by Margaret George, not actually by Henry VIII, or the Quincunx, which is um, Dickens, but cooler. But if both of those categories sound good and you can't decide between the two, don't worry, there's lots of fantasy that is set in a specific historical setting, such as The Mists of Avalon, which takes place in King Arthur's court, and Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, which takes place during the Napoleonic Wars. But, but maybe you're just a totally crazy person and want to read some non-fiction like Gödel Escher Bach. Of course, any non-fiction that's over 700 pages is either going to be extremely theoretical, or very factually dense. So good luck if that's what you're going for. And if all of this sounds like a little too much and you don't believe that you can read 700 pages in a week, there's always Harry Potter. In my Scholastic set, um, books four, five, and seven are all over 700 pages, and the font is, is nice and large, and there's pictures. And honestly, you've probably already read Harry Potter and you can speed through it. So there you go. You have no excuses for not finding a 700 plus page book to read during this brickathon. Sugar and I look forward to seeing you on January 31st. Of course, I will also see you before then because I'm, I'm going to make other videos. She won't be here though.